Hello, I am The Nice and welcome to The Nice World. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a world traveler. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> the last country I visited was Italy. So I just got back. And quick tip, when you guys are starting your day, make sure that you plan out for lunch. Because if you don't eat at 1 or 2 p.m., by 3 o'clock, everything closes. From 3 to 7, everything closes. So the, the pizzerias, the snack bars, everything is closed. So, you know what? Just see for yourselves. We are on the hunt to find food. And here in Napoli, everybody closes from 3 to 7. It's like a nightmare. So we found a juice bar. Ciao. Oh, Chinese. Oh, we see some Chinese. Are they open or closed? Closed. We did actually come across a wonderful supermarket where we bought some fresh bread and veggies and my go-to protein packed ingredient, tuna. So today I'm going to show you a recipe that I learned over there in Italy and you're gonna love it. It's a tuna crostini. It's gonna be crunchy, delicious, nutty, and tasty. So stay tuned so that you can make it and enjoy. Okay, so let's get started. Tuna, you need salt and pepper, you need some scallion, you need olive oil, a little tiny bit of mayo, a cup for water just in case, some knives, a spoon, an opener for the can of tuna, if you have a can of tuna, and some, and some parsley and some basil. That's all you need. That's all you need for this quick snack. So let's get started. So let's take our parsley, which we're gonna put in with our tuna and, and our scallions. I clean these. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the butt. Right? And just chop away. Chop away. Chop away. Let me tell you guys, we were scavenging for food like a leopard in the city. Man, oh man. But this snack right here really saved me. And I every time I go to a restaurant, they sell it for 12 or 13 dollars, just like two little pieces of bread. And this traditionally is bread or the a baguette, toasted baguette with olive oil and tomato and basil, right? But I'm adding the tuna in there because sometimes after my workout, I'm starving and I need some protein. I need some, to put some good stuff in my body. And what better way to make a delicious snack? Oh, get your freak on. Get your freak on. Um, what better way to make a delicious snack with tuna and incorporate delicious flavors from a wonderful country you just came back from? All right, so I think this is pretty much pretty good chopped. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on this plate. All right, because this is where we're gonna put our tuna. We're gonna go ahead and take our basil and cut it up. Sometimes I cut them up into, into you know, big pieces but other times I like to cut them into small pieces just because I want each and every bite to have a delicious flavor you know and I want to get basil in every bite I don't want to rob you from your experience of having basil in your crust in it okay so now that that basil is there we go ahead and take our tomato you want to dice them this thick just because you want to have uh, a good substance right you want to make sure that the texture is thick and not thin because then it'll disintegrate we don't want that I think that's good All right mm. you want to make sure that you don't squish the tomatoes when you're gonna cut them because a lot of the times this happens and everything, all the juice just falls and we don't want that. All right, so we wanna be gentle with the tomato. 
right? And my knife uh, was sharpened before this video. Uh, it was actually sharpened yesterday, so it cuts pretty well. And you can definitely get a knife sharpener tool, you know, at Home Depot or any other place that you use to buy your kitchen utensils. Or your kitchen tools, rather. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the basil right in that tomato. Just to kind of have all those ingredients get to know each other and make a little loop. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my mixture and add it onto a plate. Alright, along with a little bit of olive oil. Kind of use your eye. You don't want to use too much, but you don't want to use too little either. Um, you want to use a little bit of pepper. Not too much salt. This salt, I don't know what they're doing to it, but it's like 10 times saltier. So you've got to be careful because if you use too much, you're going to salt your dish. You don't want to do that. So I'll go ahead and... Take that mixture and just mix it up. And you want to taste it for flavor. But I'm sure it tastes so good. Oh, I love this song. I was just fronting. You know I want you, babe. Mmm. Mmm. That's so delicious. I got a friend that's scared of tomatoes. But today she's going to try some tomatoes. <laughs> All right, perfect. So that's done. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to go ahead and before I open my tuna, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with my bread. I'm going to go ahead and take my bread. This is the kind of bread that I'm using today. This is just whole wheat bread that I got at the store. Sometimes you get them for three for a dollar. Sometimes you get them for two for a dollar. These I happen to get for two for a dollar. I got dipped everybody. I got dipped. Um, I cut it in half. Just because you want to make this crostini uh, a tostini that you can hold in your hand. You know, if you hold it in your hand, you're able to bite into it in two, three bites and you're done. So I take and break them in half and then I break that half in half. Right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if you know this knife. Guys, uh, this is actually the knife that you use to cut bread, FYI. So if you have a set of knives and this is a knife that you've never used, it's for bread, everybody. Okay, so uh, a little trick that my sister taught me once uh, so that I don't feel too guilty about eating so much bread is to remove a little bit of this little doughy part from the middle, right? Because this is going to be toasted anyway. So it's going to be crunchy and the less bread on the bread the better to be honest because you know i'm eating bread almost every other day so i might as well you know finesse it a little bit right all right so i'm going to take that bread and i'm going to use this toaster to go ahead and toast it i want it flat and for this particular recipe um, i have this sandwich maker and I also have a toaster that I'm going to put the bread in afterwards just so that I can get a nice crispy texture so that when I bite into it everything is just like crunchy. okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and leave that in there and keep alternating the bread and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my tuna he was just another shorty I put the naughty on but I Toe, you threw me for a loop this hole. I'm too old to be frightened when I'm feeling dense up and acting like you ain't a penny when you are. Starting like you ain't my only girl when you are. I'm ready to stop when you are. I usually get this kind of tuna, but uh, they don't sell it around my neighborhood, so I'll wait till I'm in Whole Foods to buy it. But this tuna, you can find it in your local grocery store at the local supermarket. It's really affordable. And in water, I find that it tastes a little better than in olive oil for this particular brand. So, go ahead and prepare my tuna. So, the parsley mixture and the scallion mixture, I'm going to go ahead and 
put the tuna right in there. Alright. Take a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use about a tablespoon. And that tablespoon, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by two. Just because sometimes it can get a little oily. And I'll go ahead and mix that in there. Mmm, that's gonna be so delicious. Okay. So, then we take a little bit of mayo just to have that creamy texture make everything fold together like a nice white comforter from Macy's. And this recipe is so fast and so easy that you can make it while listening to your favorite tunes, just like when you work out. And if you haven't watched a workout video where I use my favorite songs, and click on the link. <laughs> okay, so I just added about a teaspoon of mayo in here just to marry all of these ingredients together. And mm. I think that's pretty good. Mom, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to plate. The bread came out of the oven, and I want you to see how it looks and I want you to hear how it sounds come closer it's nice and crunchy but the inside is nice and soft like a pillow All right so first what do we do first whatever you want that's the beauty of this so I what I do is that I take one half and I use tomato and the other half I put tuna you know uh, sometimes for me I put the tuna first and then I put the tomato. It depends how I feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this right on this side right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take some tuna and spread it right on the side. There you go. And that oil and that mayo make sure that it doesn't slip and it doesn't go anywhere. So see, just grab and eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. I'm gonna show you how to plate the smaller one a different way. So this will be the equivalent of one bread. You know, one bread that you took and you broke in half to make into two little crustines. Right? I love tuna. I love it. I love a packed tuna crostini. So I'll go ahead and Put it right on top, just like this. Just like this. Girl, just come with me. Oh. There you go. Two ways how you can plate your tuna crostini. So, again, this seriously delicious recipe derived from what I used to make with tuna when I was a baby. Well, not a baby. Well, when I was like 10 years old and the recipe that I just learned in Italy. So incorporating all of those experiences allowed me to be able to create this amazing, delicious, crispy, toasty crostini. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of my favorite one. That's the one with tuna and with tomato right on top. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not a paid actor, guys. I am real. And I'm sure that if you make this, you're gonna love it as well. So, please remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember to share this video for all of your hungry college friends or all of your hungry friends who want a quick delicious snack. So, I'll see you soon here in the nice world. Bye.